Hi, I'm Tony. I'm an author, presenter at Sky Sports, and years ago I went to the jungle and got ill. Very <laughs> ill. So this is my podcast adventure to find more energy. It's packed with biohacking, science, health tech, supplements, and some of the most well-known experts on the planet. This is something I spent four months of my life doing with electrodes glued to my head so that you can do a lifetime worth of meditation. Decide what you don't give a fuck about, which is something you don't care about. Some of it gets quite out there. I had some stem cells sent up to my house that I had stored, and then I injected myself with mannitol. And we even hack hangovers. Alcohol is poisonous. So is water and oxygen in the wrong dosage. So that's my podcast, Zestology. Live life with energy, vitality, and motivation. Welcome back to Zestology, the podcast all about energy, vitality, and motivation. And it's been going almost 10 years as well. And if you're familiar with this podcast, you'll know that I'm Tony Wrighton and I walk around quite a bit London world recording this podcast. And if you're not familiar with this podcast, well, thanks for listening. And today's is a personal update and I am walking from A to B at the moment. So um, in the spirit of walking the walk, literally, as well as talking the talk, um, if I can, anything that sort of gets me away from just sitting in front of a laptop, I consider to be a good thing. Um, and, uh, it's a struggle sometimes. I try and do some sort of social media stuff on the treadmill in the gym, but to be honest, it, it, you wouldn't exactly call it fun when you're walking uphill at an incline of 15 on a treadmill and trying to do your social media. (laughs) Uh, And if you follow me on social media, you'll have seen, I've recorded a lot of posts on the treadmill recently. Well, that's because I do my social media on the treadmill, but by and large, the working day is so short anyway nursery isn't exactly long hours by the time we've dropped our boy off and then picked him up and then all the other things that you need to fit into your day like uh, cooking your lunch and tidying up and that sort of thing and then just doing something and a bit of exercise so if I could do two things at once then that is a good thing anyway coming up in today's personal update uh, I'll be talking about lifestyle design and what is going on with our big move Um, because we're moving countries very shortly Um, I'll also be talking uh, book sales and some very interesting news on my three books uh, in the current series which are on sale on Amazon at the moment and then the one big domino and I can't remember how much I've spoken about this in the past the one big domino but I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as well um, as I think it may provide some motivation and inspiration for you let's start with lifestyle design then I'm not sure I like that term I'm still m- mulling it over I'm just a bit out of breath, by the way, because I've been walking up, a, walking over a bridge. Um, but yeah, I guess creating a life which aligns with your values is one of the sort of key concepts of Zestology, one that comes up again and again, isn't it? And I have been very much lucky enough to do that over recent times. And you will have heard all my podcasts from Thailand. And you might have heard me more recently saying that actually... It worked very well, us living in Thailand. My son loved it, me and my wife, we loved it. And it was a chance to do something different and still have some real adventures whilst being part of a family. But it didn't quite feel like the place we were gonna settle forever. As much as I absolutely loved it, we had some great friends there, like Brett who came on this podcast and Jojo who I work with and another friend of mine, Mark, who listens occasionally to this podcast and might be listening to this. But we did think maybe there was something else that we could possibly look at. So we are off to Portugal in a couple of weeks time. And I know I've spoken about this on the podcast, but we're so excited. And um, this is exactly the stage where you start to think, what have I done? (laughs) Because actually, I mean, it's, it's incredible how much there is to do. And there's a lot of upheaval. It's it's quite an uncertain time in some ways, you know, stability matters, doesn't it? Um, And it definitely matters for my son, especially. And he's aware that things are changing and he's, you know, moving to a different school and that sort of thing. So there's definitely some uncertainty. I'm walking past what can only, what is a lawnmower? And it can be described as a lawnmower as well. So I hope that's not too noisy. I switched off now. 
So there's a bit of instability and uncertainty at the moment because we're packing everything up and we're getting ready to go and we're moving to a new life. And I think that the main reason that it doesn't feel very grounded at the moment is that you don't know what to expect when you go outside your comfort zone and go and do something new. And what we found with Thailand was in December, I was all a bit nervous and there was a lot, again, there was a lot of packing up because, you know, we rented out a place in London and that sort of thing. And then you get there and literally from day one, it's like, ah, this is what it was all for. So I'm looking forward to that feeling and I hope we have that feeling in Portugal as well. But this podcast will be a Portugal-based podcast from two weeks' time because that's where we'll be living for a while at least. And we're very much looking forward to that experience. It also aligns with our health values as well. You know, I mean, let's be honest, not everybody has the luxury of moving country and I, I'm very fortunate to be able to do that. But the opportunity, you know, I've always thought that spending time outside is really nice and um, I love being able to spend lots of time outside with the family. And even though I sort of try and convince myself that that is an easy thing to do in the UK in the middle of winter, it's not always easy. And um, when we're moving to in Portugal, there's a lot more sunshine and that might be a bit easier. Now, the question is then we've got to make the most of that. <laughs> and I'm certainly not a proponent of moving location to make yourself happy. That's clearly not a recipe for success. And in fact, I've spoken about my friend before who's lived all around the world and never been satisfied <laughs> by the location. It's always been too big or too small or too noisy or too quiet. And actually, after seven or eight different locations, you sort of start to think, well, maybe it's something to do with you, mate. So we had a nice chat about it last night. We've been all chatting about it as a family and how that stability can come from the three of us being together and, you know, being grounded for each other which may sound a bit cheesy, but I think is very, very important. The most important thing. Um, and yeah, we're looking forward to the outdoors lifestyle, to great food. It's cheaper there. And certainly the feeling is that they very much welcome people with outside skills uh, coming into their country. Uh, we've, you know, applied for the visa, um, but not actually earning our money in the country so not taking people from not taking jobs from Portuguese people because obviously this is my job doing this and writing books and other stuff <laughs> um, so yeah that's that's the first part of the update in a couple of weeks what you'll probably hear on Zestology just to let you know is in the next couple of weeks I have recorded the podcasts in advance because I'm going to be driving from London all the way to Portugal and it's going to be quite a trip. Um, so <laughs> that's going to be an interesting sort of three-day journey. I'm leaving on uh, one day and then getting the Channel Tunnel and then driving for a bit, then stopping, and then driving for a bit and stopping and then get there day three. Um, and we're going to have a little holiday to settle in, settle my son in and just explore the areas. So that's going to be nice. And um, so I wanted to pre-record some podcasts and get all that sorted out and they will be ready to go. We've got amazing guests coming up in September as well. I've been so lucky. Um, Dr. Anna Lemke, who wrote the book Dopamine Nation. I mean, just such a brilliant guest to get on Zestology. And my producer, Alison, has been working so well to get these brilliant guests. And then Dr. Jill Krista, who is, I mean, you know, definitely in the top three experts in the world on mold. And um, mold is a topic that comes up again and again. And it's a topic I have noticed that even if you're not a health and wellness junkie like we are, people still instinctively know that mold is something they should be concerned about and they should be informed about. So Dr. Jill Krista and uh, Dr. Anna Lemke both coming up on Zestology in September. And those ones, I think, are the next couple and they're pre-recorded. So... You won't hear me doing any introductions from Portugal just for a couple of weeks while I find my feet. And then after that, I'll do a personal update and I'll set the scene for you. And I look forward to it. Interrupting this podcast for one moment to let you know about my podcast partner. And today it is by Optimizers. Ah, summer or any holiday season is such a delightful time, isn't it? 
But it's not summer anymore. The vacation season is winding down and it is time to get back on track with our health. And if you've struggled to return to your health routine, I have what I think is a valuable lesson to share. And that is focus on the big stuff. So healthy eating, exercise, and the thing that works more than anything else. And we've seen it time again on this podcast. You know, ultimately, you can have all the fancy biohacks and supplements in the world. But if you've had only five hours sleep instead of seven hours sleep, it's not going to work. Sleep is so important. And drinking more than two servings of alcohol, for example, per day for men, and more than one serving per day for women can decrease sleep quality by 39.2%. That's according to the Sleep Foundation. And one of the things you can do to help with your sleep is uh, take good supplements like Magnesium Breakthrough. So taking a supplement to help with your sleep. Magnesium Breakthrough contains all seven forms of magnesium designed to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. And the sleep benefits are truly remarkable. Once your sleep is optimized, you'll find it much easier to tackle all the other major aspects of your health. You can visit magbreakthrough.com slash Zestology and enter the code Zestology10 for 10% off any order. That is only available at magbreakthrough.com slash Zestology. And in fact, I've just been to look at that page and there are some deals which are better than 10% on there as well if you buy more than one bottle at once. Um, You can use the Zestology10 code in the UK on the Bioptimizers site as well. That is bioptimizers.co.uk and whisper it quietly, that code will work on any Bioptimizers product. They even have another product called Sleep Breakthrough. So it's all about sleep this month as we get back into our routine. magbreakthrough.com slash Zestology. Enter the code Zestology10 for 10% off any order. Now back to the show. Okay, so that's what's going on with us. Let's move on to my books. And uh, I have to say, indie book publishing continues to provide such an interesting career. You know, having been traditionally published for the first time in 2010, and there were three books with with Virgin Books who were brilliant, and no, no quibbles with them at all. But I was just wondered if I could do it a different way and do it myself through my own company. And actually, it's been fantastic, as I've spoken about on previous um, personal update podcasts. I've started the 30 Day Expert series. I've got three books in that. And I'm quite pleased with how things have been going. The, The book that's selling best is Learn NLP, which is my quote, non boring way description of how to use neuro linguistic programming. Um, And that is the one that sells the most. But actually, last week, I had my best ever overall day of book sales. And that was partly because someone bulk bought 100 copies of another one of my books, which is Stop Scrolling. So I guess it might have been a school or a university or a college or a library or something else. Um, But that occasionally happens. It has happened with some of my other books. And it's just um, gratifying and exciting to know that lots of people, you know, hopefully they (laughs) did a bit of due diligence and bought one first and realised that they liked it and then bought 100 for everybody, which is brilliant. So Stop Scrolling hasn't been written for students or groups. And And I don't exactly know who bought that big bulk order, but that did contribute towards it being my best ever day of sales. Um, And it's a nice revenue, you know, I mean, it's a really... It's the, the book revenues easily overtaken now what I used to make at Sky a couple of years ago. And I also enjoy writing a hell of a lot. It's probably, it's always the hardest thing to get started and it's the favourite part of my day. Um, working on a book on histamine intolerance at the moment and working with some outstanding experts. And this has been a very interesting book for me because it's a bit different from what I've published in my own name before. And it's because I've wanted it to be full of references, it has to be scientifically checked and double checked to within an inch of its life. And there are people, as you might expect, who are good at helping with that, but they don't come cheap. So that's, that's, um, it's been a bit of an eye opener 
and uh, it was all about investing in, in, the, in the future with books because you know you take three six nine twelve months to write a book and then you take another three six nine months to publish it you're working with I'm working with um, editors copywriters these fact checkers and then I'm working with cover designers and um, formatters and for nothing you know and I'm not not that's all, all of my time that's going into something that is absolutely making nothing. But then there's this wonderful long tail so that, you know, some of my, because, of, because I've got, my company's got my books, but also we publish other books as well. And books that we've been working, we were working on four or five years ago um, and I wasn't making anything from it then, but I'm still making money from those books now, every day, which is just great. So, yeah. I, I enjoy that a lot and uh, I'm looking forward to this book coming out it's been a bit of a labour of love um, and there's lots of stories around histamine intolerance it is part of a 30 day expert series and then yeah I was thinking perhaps another book based on uh, health and mindset I had this <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night and I had this great idea for a title for the book for the, for the book which was the magic pill which is all about how people say there's never a magic pill when it comes to health but maybe there is because of the incredible amount of science that I've been digging into with the histamine intolerance book around mindset and healing you know your, your body can't heal until your parasympathetic nervous system kicks in and the correlation between stress and disease and dis-ease and relaxation and healing is so stark that it, it can't be ignored so I was like, well, I could call it the magic pill. But it turns out, I wasn't the first person to think of that title. And there was, you may remember, a Netflix documentary by the Australian chef called Pete Evans, which is all about how food could heal you. And it's unfortunately been taken off Netflix for various reasons. And then I was sort of thinking, well, it's not really a magic pill, is it? <laughs> Mindset. I mean, it's... It, it possibly works better than anything else but still not a magic pill so that might not be the great title but sometimes I just have a good idea for a title and then I file it away on my Trello board and I come back to it six months or years later and I wonder what I could do with that so that's um that's what's going on with the books and then in terms of creativity and as you know I've been working on some potential course ideas recently in terms of teaching other people neuro-linguistic programming and obviously there's, there's a lot going on in terms of the books that I write um, and it's I can spend months of the concept stage you know, thinking of this idea of the magic pill <laughs> it's virtually all I'm doing just, just having just trying to get the big idea at the moment and I heard this lovely anecdote from Tim Ferriss which I wanted to relate to you because I think it's in, in terms of productivity, I find it very, very important for my business. And I think a lot about this because I'm a business of one. I'm a company of one, which is a, a, actually a book that I'm reading at the moment. Company of One. Excellent book about how small businesses, companies of one can thrive. And Tim Ferriss says that most people in the morning get up and have a to-do list with a thousand things to do and before they know it they're pitched into the maelstrom of emails and uh, replies to their messages and uh, ticking through their whatsapp their whatsapps and uh, getting their to-do list done for the day and he said that he tries to do the opposite and he takes it easy and he goes for a coffee and he tries to think about the big domino the one big domino that if he was able to knock down all the other dominoes would fall into place. And it's such a lovely idea because I am very capable of spending all day every day on admin. And that's not actually the thing that's gonna advance my business. So I've been doing a lot of this. I've been, there's, there's a real correlation with what I teach in neuro-linguistic programming, which is the difference between the conscious mind, which can only think about a few things at once and is fairly obsessively focused on getting your to-do list done, and then the unconscious mind, which thinks about all those things that we don't have time to think about on a conscious basis, like breathing, for example. But that's also where a lot of our creativity lies. So I've been uh, asking my unconscious mind in an NLP style 
to either think about the solutions to problems or another way of doing it is to ask your unconscious mind to think about the five times in the past when you were best uh, able to solve a problem, for example. And then you just let it go and go and have a coffee and see what happens with that one big domino. And I find that that space, that space to think and create is more important than all the hours spent on the to-do list. You have to, you have to get the to-do list done as well, but it's not the most important thing. I hope that provides some sort of uh, inspiration and, and motivation. I, I, I found it genuinely very helpful. Um, I think somebody was just beeping me there. Maybe there is a astrology listener. I'm going to, um, obviously we're off to Portugal soon, so I've been booking in all the sort of fairly boring jobs that I don't know if I'm going to be able to do in Portugal, like getting a free eye test, which I'm entitled to, and um, also a dentist appointment, which is certainly not free. So I've got those coming up now, and hopefully there'll be a bit of time to knock over the one big domino as well in between today. Um, but... Um, I hope that personal update has just shed a little bit of light on what I'm working for. I have, in previous updates, mentioned the course, and I've been emailing about that as well. If you're not on my mailing list yet, then please go to tonywrighton.com. And I know a lot of you are interested in that neuro-linguistic programming course and maybe the NLP practitioner course that I'm going to run, whether it's called that or something else. Maybe it'll be called the magic pill. You never know. But there are more details on that coming up very soon, and I am really excited about it, but... Again, it's the one big domino. It's got to be exactly right. I want to make sure... Well, I want to make sure it's just an awesome experience and it genuinely solves something that people can't solve unless they come to me with NLP. So let's, let's see how that goes. Um, I don't want to procrastinate about it forever, but I still need that one big domino to fall a little bit more. As always, thank you for listening. Thank you to my podcast partners, Magnesium Breakthrough. If you go to magbreakthrough.com and use the code uh, Zestology10, you will get 10% off your order. They've now got Sleep Breakthrough as well. That's at the Bioptimizer site. And obviously that code works in the UK and the US um, on the um, Bioptimizer's website. Uh, It's um, Zestology10 for or can only be described as the best and most bioavailable form of magnesium. And I just had a parcel through with three bottles of magnesium breakthrough. I feel very grateful. I didn't have to pay for them. I guess because they're partnering with the podcast, they just send me three bottles, which is great because normally I actually buy them with my own discount code, but this time I didn't. So uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about that. Uh, Yeah, I've now walked to where I want to go to my eye appointment. You don't want to come with me to my eye appointment, do you? So um, thank you for listening please do check out magnesium breakthrough and and thanks as always for being a um, supporter of my podcast partners because it doesn't bring in a massive amount but it helps keep the lights on at zestology and um, i will keep you fully updated on our big life move i'm very excited to share more about that and share more about you know i mean obviously we do love living a healthy lifestyle and i'm just so excited at everything we're going to find out there are we going to be swimming in the sea on christmas day well my mate who lives out there was and he wasn't even wearing a wetsuit so maybe that'll be us as well the sea is quite cold in portugal actually but we'll see anyway listen thank you for listening thanks for supporting magnesium breakthrough and chat to you again soon